New at five, they've got a sting so bad it's said that it could kill a cow. Some neighbors in Chelsea tell us that they've seen a lot of these insects. They're known as red velvet ants showing up near their homes. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner joins us live in the studio to explain what this is. Well, Sherry, these bugs can range from three quarters of an inch to about an inch in size, and they've definitely earned the nickname cow killers. It's not unusual to see them in Alabama, but normally experts tell us people don't report seeing quite so many of them. They will sting. We heard from several of our viewers that these critters were turning up in neighborhoods around Chelsea. And it'll hurt like the Dickens, hence the name cow killer ant. It prompted some concerned parents to turn to Facebook to warn kids from playing outside barefoot. I'm blowing air out, out of their spirit. There so we turned to the experts at Vulcan Termite and Pest Control to learn a little more about why these bugs can pack a punch that hurts enough to kill a cow. General Manager Fred Smith tells us you'll see them in these hot, dry months, and normally they'll try to avoid you. But if they do stick you, but it is almost like a fish hook that's got you. And the pain? There's a, a pain scale it's called the Schmidt's pain scale, and on that pain scale, uh, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, and these are ranging the four in the in the threes, in the high threes. So if you see one, their advice is to just keep your distance. Three out of four sounds pretty painful. <laughs> It sure does. So here's something else that you can do. Cow killers hang around in the ground and pasture lands and in sandy soils, and they feed on bees and wasps that actually go down into the ground. So if you can keep the area clear of those critters and cut off the food supply, keep good grass growing, you are less likely to run across a cow killer. Live in the studio, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.